Hello and welcome to tonight's gala concert, proudly brought to you by Trinity Grammar School. This evening we look forward to being enthralled and entertained by the scintillating sounds of all our combined ensembles. The boys here at Trinity really, really love and enjoy their creative arts and we can't wait to take a closer look at the wonderful things that they have in store for us. Good evening, Headmaster. Lovely to see you here at the gala concert. Now, this is your second gala concert and the second creative arts festival that you've been involved in since commencing with us at Trinity. What were the highlights from last year that you really enjoyed and what are you looking forward to this evening? Brigitte, last year at the gala concert, I was absolutely blown away by the calibre of the performance. Uh, not having seen the boys perform in the way that they did, the Year 12 class in particular, uh, showed a level of musicality and polish that I just was not expecting from a school age group of students. Uh, I'm looking forward to tonight. Tonight I've actually brought my parents to come and see because I was saying to them, you will not believe how good this performance is. The calibre uh, is amazing. It is really extraordinary. Yeah, life. so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. And I've been chatting to some of the boys in the lead up to the week and I know how much they really look forward to this night, particularly the Year 12 boys for whom this night is their last big hurrah, as it were, with the orchestra, uh, with the various ensembles, and they're going to really make it work. I know. It's, a, it's always very mind-blowing, sort of, listening to the, to the performance that they put on. So that's wonderful. Now, you yourself, were you part of the creative arts when you were at school? Uh, no, no, no. I, I, um, I used to play the bagpipes. I was a member of the only... Uh, public school pipe and drum band in Australia because we had a ferocious little Scottish headmistress who put in for grant year after year, finally got a set of bagpipes and uh, they sounded as bad as one can imagine it sounding and uh, that didn't last long. And I was in the cast of Oliver Twist one year, uh, but I was the only member of the chorus who was required not to sing. Uh, they, they could hear me, they reckoned, wherever no, they were. So I yeah. So I had, a, I had a speaking part from the chorus, but uh, yeah, they wanted me to lip sync. So I can lip sync the words to Oliver very well. That's so wonderful. Um, what do you think, I mean, obviously being part of Oliver, although you sort of learnt lip syncing skills and things like that, what do you think being part of a creative arts um, sort of team brings to the boys and what's sort of the, I guess, what does it add to them in terms of their forward movement in life? I think many of the skills that one learns in the creative arts are very similar to the ones that one learns in sport. You're part of something bigger than yourself, you're uh, bringing your ego into check in order to achieve a greater goal along with other people. Everyone has their own part to play and uh, because people do things differently or have a different part, it doesn't diminish their significance in the whole. So a lot of those lessons come into play. I think the particular advantage in the creative arts uh, has around it the way it encourages boys to engage with beauty. I think that uh, our boys, I think we all do well to engage with beauty and learn to appreciate beauty and the creative arts finds a path there and it cultivates abilities to see things differently, to appreciate that there are different perspectives to bear. Uh, when we hit the, the canon of Western music, we see the kind and we feel the themes which were pertinent in a different culture and it leads us to reflect differently on our own. 